The carpet rises into the air again. The carpet begins to descend. Excellent. Mission accomplished. Why? Uh, back to the... Uh, back on the magic carpet. Let's see what we can do here. Up, up, and away. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and sit on it. The carpet begins... Yes, we know. We have to go back. I'm sure the wire. Right. We have to meet the snake again. A snake blocks your path to the east. It appears to be about ten feet long and is coiled up, ready to strike. We have to use the emerald on the snake. You'll see why. You can't get close enough to the deadly snake without it seeing you from this side. Okay. Use this, the emerald on the snake. You can't get close. You can't get close enough to the deadly snake without it seeing you from this side. You can't get. Okay. Well, just firstly use our um, <clears throat> use the hypnosis uh, necklace. You dangle the shimmering opal in front of the snake. It soon falls hypnotized in typical snake fashion. Now, use the emerald on the snake. You can't get close enough. You can't get close enough to the deadly snake without it seeing you from this side. You can't. You can't. Can I talk to the snake? Ah, damn it! The snake snaps out of. We use the hypnosis uh, necklace on the snake. You dangle the shimmering opal in front of the snake. It soon falls hypnotized in typical snake fashion. Quickly, go behind the snake and use the emerald on the snake. As you direct the sun's light through the emerald at the snake, you behold a wondrous transformation. Finally. Nice. Whoa! Before you now stands a magnificent Pegasus. winged horse. Thank you for freeing me. A horrid enchanter transformed me into that legless thing after I refused to be his steed. Hmm. All right, let's save our progress as um, uh, <clears throat> Pegasus. Let's look at him. This is a handsome white steed. It has beautiful wings with delicate feathers. Let's talk to him. That was quite a gamble to refuse an enchanter. Mm -hmm. True. But I could not have accepted, even if I had wanted to. For I am a disciple of the Cloud, and can serve no land dweller. Disciple hmm. of the Cloud? Just what think. does that mean? First, tell me of what you seek up here. You take a deep breath, then explain hmm. about the door of destiny, the gems of nature, of course. and your present quest to locate the growth gem. So, you seek the air gem. Yes, the air gem. That is right. You know I need it? that. Most certainly. But you will not be able to reach it by any means available to you or any of your kind. Why is that? I would gladly take you to it. But alas, the enchanter took and hid from me my bridle. Without it, we could search for a thousand years and still never find the cloud spirit. Where did he hide your bridle? I do not know. Perhaps a clue may be found in that blackguard's abode behind me. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, solve the mystery here. 